I don't give a damn, I know who I am Yeah, they talking, but I'm getting money for me and my fam This shit ain't that super deep, nah, this right here just the jam What's going on, guys? Um, it's your boy, Gemini Berserker, and welcome to the first ever story time. Uh, there was, I put up a poll, like, probably a week or so ago, and I wanted to, you know, sit down and just recall some shit. And the, the thing that, that I wanted to do, or that I saw that got voted for first out of the poll, because it was a three-way tie, was uh, how I met my friends. Now, the friends I'm talking about are Cosmic, Astro, Breeze, Dan, and Keon. So, uh, just generalized, I've met all and we all know each other from high school. So that way you guys get a general consensus of why we're so cool and why we talk to each other the way we do. Uh, it's, it's, not a, it's not disrespect, it's, like, it's the love. It's the love of calling... Uh, cosmic or astro or like breeze a moon cricket and then it's not to be it's not meant to be racist it's just how we talk to each other but um yeah nah like um like I said we all met through high school and I'm just probably gonna tell some funny stories about how or what we all like my best experiences or favorite stories from high school with these or just favorite stories with these guys in general um I think in general my favorite story and pretty much is a high school related thing was our senior year in high school and there was this chick she was a fucking bitch like like when I mean that I mean like hold hardly this this chick was just an asshole and just think she's hot shit um she's a bigger girl like so she's she's pretty big she looked like a um walking meatball not to sound disrespectful or nothing but um so we go to Dorney Park for those of you that don't know what Dorney Park is um in Pennsylvania, we have this thing called Dorney Park. It's kind of like a six. It's kind of like a smaller Six Flags. Kinda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like a smaller Six Flags, and more of like a reasonable Six Flags, as far as like wait time and people and shit like that. Like, it's a cool place. So there's this ride, and I'm not sure if you guys know or anything, but there's a ride that is like a um, it's like a giant rotating swing. So you know, you get in the chairs, and you know, it lifts you up, and you know, it spins you around. You guys probably know what I'm talking about, or probably don't. I'll see if I can find a picture, some shit like that. Or if not, fuck it. You guys can Google it. It's a big fucking swing. So, um, the thing goes, she's a big girl. Cosmic's a big guy. He He's tall, though. He's a taller guy, so he makes up for it. But, uh, she's, like, shorter than me, and I'm five fucking seven. I'm, I'm five seven. I'm, like, one of the shortest people in, like, our friend group, aside from Breeze. I think me and Breeze are around, like, around the same heart, height, or I think he's, like, five six or some shit like that. But, um, no, so, yeah, she gets in the swing. We're all talking. Like, I pay, I'm paying her no fucking mind, because I don't like her. No one likes her. And we're all looking, and we're all talking, like, oh, yo, we're going to do today, blah, 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 all that shit. And all you hear from, like, because she was sitting in front of me, and so was Breeze. So all you hear is, if I can find, like, Something cool. All you pretty much hear is, and the je the guy that's operating the ride is trying to click the buckle into her seat. She was so big she couldn't fit into the like the shit wouldn't buckle. And so, long story short, um, one of our other friends is the reason why we're all going to hell. So I turn around, I'm, I'm trying to be nice, I'm, I'm trying to just make the face of like, don't laugh, Th that's not cool, and you know, I'm, everyone's looking around, everyone's lo everyone looks at Cosmic, you know, he's like, he's trying to hold his shit together, and it gets to the point where we look at our other friend who was sitting behind him, and he just couldn't hold it anymore, he just blurts like, just yells in laughter, and it just erupted out of everybody, and it was fucking hilarious, I'm sorry, that was like, easily been my favorite moment in high school, but um, Okay, so, yeah, our friendship has been long going ever since, like, we all met in high school, and, like, we all met at different points in high school. Um, I met Keon and Astro through our homeroom class. Like, we all had homeroom class. We, us, us three had homeroom class together. And, you know, it was pretty cool, because Keon was, like, one of the first few people I talked to, and he was like, yo, you gotta listen to this dude called Tyler the Creator. I was like, who's that? I was like, he's like, you don't know? I was like, nah. He was like, you show me. I was like, oh, shit, this is some fucking... Some nice shit right here. I like this. I like this. Some 
new age re rebellious shit. I like it. I like it. I like being angry. I was like, very angry at the time. Very angry person. And then I showed Astro. He's like, oh yeah, this shit, this shit is fire. I like it. And so, you know, it's just going on and on and on and on. And so, you know, we, we started hanging out together. I was one of the few people who started, like, the, uh, a video game club in our school. Because, like, we had a bunch of, like, man, some whack shit, man. Let's do something we like. Man, fuck, fuck, uh, fuck the arts and crafts shit after school. We, we was like, alright, let's, let's get, I'll bring my PlayStation to the school. Like, every, every, like, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and shit. And we would, we would fucking just play games for, like, two hours and then go home. That's what we did. Um, I believe I met uh, Cosmic my s in my sophomore year of high school. My, my sophomore year of high school. So the way I met Cosmic was, I, th I believe at lunch, or we had one class together. And we had a substitute. And back at the time, you know, uh, he had Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and he brought him to school. I was like, huh. Like, I didn't know. I, in my mind, I was like, yo, I didn't know people still played Yu-Gi-Oh. I was like, in my mind, I was like, oh, shit. I just found a new fucking friend. But in his mind, because he had went to like an entirely different school than I did prior, because the school I went to, that's all we did was play Yu-Gi-Oh! like every day at lunch, and that was our shit. And so I met him, and what was going through his mind was, oh shit, this dude finna clown me because I got Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. I was like, nah, bro, this shit is fire, yo, we should be friends, like this shit is hot. And so that's how we ended up being friends, and like furthering our friendship. And like I said, and we also played video games and shit together too, like that's... As you guys can see from the way we talk to each other and play games, it's um, it, it, that's how it is. Um, I believe I also met Dan and Breeze my sophomore year of high school. Yeah, I believe so. I, I just can't remember how I met. I believe I met Dan through the video game club because I believe he came. I believe the same thing with Breeze. That I believe they both came, but we ended up doing something else, and it was and that's just all how we ended up meeting each other, and we've been pretty like, like relevant with each other like like the like past few years and it's like it's cool because like you know how like your parents tell you like oh you know you're not gonna be friends with people for long you don't don't like when you get to that point because like we've all known each other for, like for about seven eight years now like that's a long fucking time to like be close with people and like that's the thing like the way we operate like we go to each other for like just about anything like but whatever's going on, we go to each other about it. And it's, it's, you know, it's really cool to know that, you know, you have people that you, like, you don't know, you like, you're not related to them, but you call them your brothers. Because I believe, um, like, it, and it was, it became such second nature to me to call them my brothers that when I, like, joined the military and shit, um, like, I had to fill out some paperwork and it was, like, references. Like, it was a ref for referral paper. And I put them down. And my recruiter, he's like, oh, well, who are these people in relation? And I had wrote brother, unknowingly. He was like, are they, like, your actual family? I was like, oh, no, I'm sorry. Those are my family. I mean, those are my friends, but, like, we're really close, like, family. He's like, oh, okay, I understand. And, like, it's just, it, when it comes down to that second nature thing about you being so close with people, it's, you know, like, you know, you have, I, mean, I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's one of those things where, you know, you just can't explain it, but like, you know how it is. Like, I'm pretty sure some of you out here, some people out here, you know, you have people who and shit. But like, when shit goes down, you know they're not there. I can say for a number of times, anytime shit has gone down for any of us, we've called each other and be like, "Yo, some shit just went down, and can you like help me? I'm, I'm like kind of struggling, uh, this, that, and third. And we, without a second thought, we like, "All right, I'm there." And it's just like, like I, I, I would do more for these guys than I would do like half of my blood family. And you know, it's, I'm sorry, it's sad, but you know, it's also not sad because I have them in my life. And like, I know of like, even, and I know for them, like, if someone, like, if something happens, you know, we're there for each other no matter what. And that, you know, that's just how it is. You know, I, I talk, we talk shit on each other all the time. I call. Steve's bad. I, I be fucking with Cosmic and Astro all the time, but like, that's just how, we, like I said, that's just how we show love to each other. And you know, I, I really appreciate all those guys. And, like I love them. Like, those are my, that's my family. Like it's just, it's just one of those things, you know. And like I, I'm hoping that 
you know, you guys listening to this, like maybe you guys have those type of relationships as well, where like you know you're 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 so close with each other that you're that you're family with one another, and that's just how I like to view things. I, I like to view things in that sense because I know if like I go through something emotionally, they're gonna have my back, or if they're going through something, I'm gonna have their back. Like it's just that's just how we operate. And so I, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this little talk. Um, but leave a like, comment, subscribe. Go check all those guys out. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.